In 1913, the Palmer School of Chiropractic held a parade to celebrate the homecoming of its graduates. Dee Dee Palmer, the founder of chiropractic, was invited to participate, though he argued to lead the processions. What occurred on that day would unfortunately result in one of chiropractic history's greatest controversies. Davenport, August 27, 1913. Dee Dee Palmer, who was visiting from California, attended the Palmer homecoming event. He was invited to participate in the parade and would ride in an automobile. However, Dee Dee was offended that he would take a back seat to his son. His antics became the focus of several newspaper articles. The Davenport Daily Times reported the scene. Dr. Dee Dee Palmer caused a diversion yesterday during the chiropractor's parade by attempting to head the procession as it started down Brady Street Hill. He was forced out of line by his son, Dr. B.J. Palmer, the present head of the institution, and later was put out of the parade by traffic policeman Estes. It is claimed that Dee Dee Palmer, who made three determined efforts to lead the parade, was invited to ride in an automobile with the faculty of the Palmer School, refused to take a position in line of march other than at the head. The Davenport Democrat and leader stated, Yesterday, Dee Dee Palmer insisted he should lead the procession. He was put out at the start at the top of Brady Street Hill and again at 4th and Brady Streets. When he attempted to break into the ranks at 3rd and Brady Street, he was taken in hands by traffic policeman John Estes in order to stay on the sidewalk or go to jail. He chose the later course. Dee Dee attempted to re-establish his partnership at the Palmer School, but was refused. He returned to California, failing to accomplish his plans in Davenport. Dee Dee Palmer died October 20th that year. His widow told the Los Angeles Times what she believed to be the cause of death. His obituary led with an unfortunate headline, one that would be repeated by some papers across the nation. However, the cause of death given by Palmer's physician was typhoid fever. By July of the following year, Dee Dee's widow sued B.J. Palmer. She filed a sensational claim that B.J.'s auto struck his father later, resulting in his death. By November, two grand juries in civil and criminal actions found that no one was struck during the parade. It was decided there was an attempt in this case to use the grand jury and criminal courts to further a civil strife. Mrs. Palmer's representatives were warned that a reoccurrence of the case would be investigated and possibly prosecuted. Joy Loban and Solomon Long, rivals of B.J. Palmer, dropped the case. They failed to prop up their competitor schools and associations by burying B.J. and his interests. Instead, their defamation to the chiropractic profession has lasted for over a century. There is no evidence that B.J. Palmer ever caused any physical injury to his father. To the contrary, the evidence clears B.J. of this claim. However, this topic has remained one of the greatest and unfortunate controversies in chiropractic history.